Today, let us study the concept of symbol interest. A symbol interest is the interest paid in the same rate every period. That is, the interest does not change. For example, a person is borrowing rupees 1000 from his friend to be repaid after 5 years. And the interest is fixed to be 10%. Then, let us see what is the interest to be paid every year. In the first year, he has to pay interest on the 1000 rupees at 10%. So, interest will be 100. And in the second year, again, he has to pay interest on 1000 rupees at 10%. Again, the interest is 100. And after the third year, again, principal amount is 1000, rate is 10%, so the interest is 100. And after the fourth year and the fifth year, same. So, every year interest is calculated on the principal amount. The rate does not change. The amount on which interest is calculated does not change. So, the interest amount remains the same until the repayment. Every year, the same interest, 100, is paid. Such an interest is called simple interest. Thus, simple interest is the interest calculated on the principal at a uniform rate every period. The formula to calculate simple interest is PNR divided by 100. P into N into R divided by P is the principal, N is the number of years, R is the rate of interest per annum. So, we can calculate symbol interest very easily using this formula PNR by 100. And at some places, instead of N, they write T. There will be P into T into R by 100. T means time. Here, we are using N. So, we have studied how to find the simple interest. Now, let us go back to the previous example. A friend has borrowed rupees 1000 at 10 percentage per annum for 5 years. What should be repaid after 5 years? So, that repayment includes the 1000 rupees principal amount that is borrowed plus the interest for the five years that is 100 for first year 100 for second year and 100 each for the next three years that is the total interest will be 500 so what should the friend repay after five years that is called the amount amount will be thousand principal plus 500 interest so the total amount to be repaid after 5 years will be 1,500. Now let us see how to calculate this amount using a formula. The amount to be repaid includes two components, principal and the interest. Principal is the amount lent or borrowed initially. And interest is the amount calculated on every period, maybe every year. So, the amount at the end of nth year is equal to P, principal P plus PNR by 100. We have already studied the formula to find the interest, that is PNR by 100. So, amount is equal to principal plus interest p plus pnr by 100 now the p is common in both the components so it is take this p outside thus the formula becomes p into 1 plus nr by 100 in both the forms we can use this formula we can use it as p plus pnr by 100 or P into 1 plus NR by 100. 
both are one and the same now let us take an example find total interest and amount at the end of fifth year for 5000 rupees at 10 percentage per annum simple interest now let us see what all things are given in the question principal is given 5000 n is given 5 years r is also given 10 percentage per annum now we can apply these values in the formula simple interest is equal to pnr divided by 100 so it becomes 5000 into 5 into 10 divided by 100 that is 2500 this 2500 is only the interest it is the interest to be paid along with the principal amount in the question it is asked to find the amount to be repaid at the end of the fifth year so the amount to be repaid includes principal plus interest principal is 5000 plus interest is 2500 so the total amount to be repaid is rupees 7500 now let us take another problem calculate total interest on rupees 573 days rupees 720 for 14 weeks and rupees 900 for 3 months all at 6 percentage per annum so from this we can understand that a person is paying three different amounts all at six percentage per annum the first amount 500 is paid for 73 days the second amount 720 is paid for 14 weeks and the next amount 900 is paid for three months but all the three amounts are paid for six percentage per annum interest when the interest is per annum, we have to convert all these into years. 73 days has to be converted into years. And then the 14 weeks has to be converted into years. 3 months also has to be converted into years. Now, we have to calculate the interest part by part. Let us take the first part. The, the principal is 500. N is 73 days. The rate is given per annum. So that is for an year. 6 percentage for an year per annum. So this 73 days has to be converted into an year. An year consists of 365 days. So we have to divide 73 by 365 hence n becomes 73 divided by 365 and r is 6 percentage per annum now let us apply it in the formula pnr by 100 that is 500 into 73 into 6 divided by 365 into 100 this 365 is the denominator of 73 and 100 is actually the denominator of 6 or the rate. PNR by 100, the 100, it is taken because rate is always given as percentage. So rate by 100, that 100 is taken as a common denominator. So here we get two denominators, 365 and 100. We have to multiply all this. So 500 into 73 into 6 in the numerator and 365 into 100 in the denominator that will give 6 rupees so the principal 500 and 73 divided by 365 are 6 when it is so the simple interest is 6 rupees that person has to pay 6 rupees for borrowing 500 rupees for 73 days at 6 percentage per annum simple interest 
And next, let us calculate the second part simple interest. The P is 720, N is 14 weeks. So, 14 weeks has to be converted into year. And year has got 52 weeks in total. So, N becomes 14 divided by 52. Now, we have converted the 14 weeks into year. 14 divided by 52. R is 6 percentage per annum. Applying in the formula, PNR by 100, we get 720 into 14 into 6 divided by 52 into 100. That will be 11.63. So, the interest of the second part is 11.63. And now, coming to the third part, principal is 900 rupees and is 3 months. The months have to be converted into year. So, 3 divided by 12. 12 months are there in an year. So, 3 divided by 12. R is again 6 percentage per annum. Applying in the formula, we get it as 900 into 3 into 6 divided by 12 into 100. That is 13.5 rupees. Now, the total interest to be received by the person who has lent the money in three parts is the first interest is 6, then 11.63, then 13.5. So, 6 plus 11.63 plus 13.5. That is 31.13. That is the total interest to be received by that person. Our next question is, to find the number of years, a sum of rupees 10,000 will take to become 18,000 if the rate of interest is 8% per annum. So, principal is given as a sum of rupees 10,000 and the rate is 8% per annum. So, P is known and R is also known, but N is not given. We are asked to find the number of years. Then what is 18,000? It is given in the question that 10,000 will become 18,000 after a number of years. 10,000 becomes 18,000 when interest is added to it. So 18,000 is the total amount. We know that the total amount is principal plus interest. So, 10,000 principal plus some amount of interest makes this 18,000 total amount. Thus, we have got principal and the amount. From this, we can find the interest. We know that amount is equal to principal plus interest. Then, interest will be equal to amount minus principal. So, 18,000 minus 10,000 will be 8,000. Thus, the interest on the principal of 10,000 rupees is 8,000 for n number of years. Now, we can apply these values in the formula. Simple interest is equal to PNR divided by 100. Simple interest is already calculated to be 8,000. Now, PNR is 10,000 into N into 8. That divided by 100. Thus, 8,000 is equal to 80,000 N divided by 100. 100 can be taken to the left-hand side and multiplied with 8,000. That becomes 8,000 into 100 is equal to 80,000 N. So, 8 lakh is equal to 80,000 N. Now, 80,000 can be taken to the left hand side. It becomes 8 lakh divided by 80,000 is equal to n. Therefore, n is equal to 10. So, the number of years required for 10,000 to become 18,000 at 8 percentage per annum symbol interest is 10 years. With 10 years, 10,000 can become 18,000. When rate of interest is 
a percentage per annum. And our next problem is to find the rate of interest per annum if the simple interest on a principal of rupees 5000 is 800 for 4 years. Therefore, principal is given as 5000 rupees. N is 4 years. Simple interest is 800 rupees. We are asked to find R. Let us try to apply it in the formula. Simple interest is equal to PNR by 100. Simple interest is already given the question as 800. So, 800 is equal to PNR by 100. P is 5000. N is 4. So, 5000 into 4 into R divided by 100. That will be 800 is equal to 20,000 R by 100. And this 100 can be taken to the left hand side. It will be 800 into 100 is equal to 20,000 R or 80,000 is equal to 20,000 R. Then the 20,000 can be taken to the left hand side. It becomes 80,000 divided by 20,000 is equal to R. So R is equal to 4 or the rate of interest is 4 percentage per annum. That means if the rate of interest is 4 percentage per annum, then the simple interest is 800 for rupees 5000 for 4 years. So we can use the same formula to find the simple interest if P, N and R are given in the question or we can find the principal if all other values are known. We can find the number of years when P, R and simple interest are known. And we can also find the rate of interest when P, N and simple interest is known. So all these values can be found out using the same formula. So that's all about calculating simple interest. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos, subscribe the channel.